control, so it looks good for me. Um, it doesn't really wash out. I mean, the, the clouds have come in, but when the sun was here, it was still looking good. Um, so it's a great display. The other good thing about an 11 inch, 11.6 inch display is it lets you fit a full size keyboard. Um, if you go any smaller than this, what happens is you have to make the keyboard smaller too, right? Because the display is smaller. And um, with this one, you get the spacing that you'd expect on a full size keyboard. So the spacing on this keyboard is exactly the same as in that notebook over there um, in terms of the, of the spacing between the keys. So you've got a full size keyboard. You've also got a nice big trackpad too. And the trackpad, it's what we call an image pad. And, and part of the reason for that is because we, it supports all the gestures. So you support the Windows 8 gestures like bringing in charms or you know, um, scrolling through or, or panning and zooming. It's very easy to just sort of swipe through and, 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 and do whatever you need to do um, in terms of Windows 8. So it supports those kind of gestures. You can swipe down and bring up the context menu. Um, you can swipe from the you can swipe from the swipe from the right. Maybe there's no apps running. Um, if there were apps running, you could swipe between the different apps and things like that. So this thing is. I don't know why this is being so slow. Maybe I should switch to another part. It's a tablet, right? So you've got a nice, nice, great um, notebook, but now you've also got a great tablet. So yeah, I can just pull this off, and I'll talk about the hinge here in a second. And you've got a really thin modular tablet. And, and and what I mean by a thin modular tablet is it's 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 thin like you'd expect. It's light like you'd expect. It's uh, it's about eight and a half millimeters. It's um, it's lightweight. It um, you know feels good in your hands. It's kind of tapered. And you have to sit here that are in the open mode. And when you click it into place, the pins kind of come down and, and click in. And so that wins that way. You know you can just walk away with it without a problem. So so that that we spend a lot of time on that of making it look correct so that it, when it's when it's when it's uh, closed, it looks like a right. It looks like a tablet. I mean, it looks like a notebook rather than not a tablet. And when it's open, it also looks like a notebook. But then it also can very easily be pulled out, right? So let's just spend a lot of time on that. Just make it easy. Really make it satisfying to click. So you've got two batteries. I think you were asking about the battery. So you've got a battery in, in the uh, in the tablet okay. and a battery in the base. And we did that for a couple reasons. One, it keeps the, keeps the tablet light. It also keeps the weight distribution correct so you don't get this thing where it tips over. Because yeah. some people do that where it's like, if you treat this as an afterthought, you won't do it right. Because if you treat this as an afterthought, it'll become like this sort of this extra little keyboard that doesn't really fit on well, that doesn't really weight the thing down properly. We really try to treat this as it's a notebook and a tablet, not just one of the others. And so um, so there's two, two batteries. It actually discharges the battery in the base first. So for example, let's say I'm typing, I'm, working, I'm doing stuff for two or three hours, um, and then I want to go somewhere with just a tablet. Well, when I do this, you know, uh, I've got a fully charged tablet because it's been using the battery in the base. Right? And so that's not a problem. How long is the battery in the tablet? So it's about half and half. We haven't finalized the battery life. I will say that um, I will say that it'll, it'll be very long. I mean, just as an example, that, that notebook I was talking about is like in the eight hours of the battery life. This one will be a lot more. And I can't quite say how much we're still finalizing it. But we'll, we'll, we'll give you that number soon, hopefully. Um, so, so yeah, so it'll be it'll be a very long battery life. And it also supports a feature called connected standby. Mm -hmm. Connected standby from Microsoft Windows, it, it works a really good cool way. But the way it works is I can basically take this product and I can just close it. And I can just set it on my coffee table, right? And maybe I go away for the whole weekend or I go away maybe for the whole week or whatever. I come back, I pick it up off my coffee table, I lift it up, it's on, it turns on faster than I can open the notebook. And not only is it on, but all my all my live apps are always updated. So my mail's been downloaded while it's on, my apps are updated. When I open it up, it'll tell me the last day, what was the last week. It'll tell me all the things that you'd expect in a, in a modern device. So that connected standby means it never really goes into like a, like a deep sleep or hibernate mode.